you know, get out of the mentality that we ha we get from schools and universities where there's a reading list, where there's a set syllabus where you cover it. No, we're we're exploring the Antarctic, we're exploring the polar regions. We're we're now on our own. And so trust yourself. Trust your inner curiosity. Don't don't look for in a certain way in that regard, don't look for somebody to tell you what to do. Decide yourself. And in a certain way, maybe my answer to those two questions, this question and the previous one is, you're on your life's journey. Don't let somebody tell you what the path is. It's your path. And forgive me, I, I've said this many times. It's such a beautiful idea. And so everybody's listening to this. Go buy every book by Joseph Campbell you can buy and read it. He's a really incredible, wonderful guy who married one of his students who was a dancer. But um, that be aside... Uh, so he says, and I believe it's him, I'm not an academic, so you know, uh, I got Steve Goldstein from MarketWatch telling me that this academic work that I've cited it doesn't exist. Somebody's going to find out about this, but I'm, I'm reasonably sure that this is Joseph Campbell. He says, you enter the forest at the darkest place where there is no path, because if there was a path, it wouldn't be your path, and we each have to make our own path. And so, you know, in a certain way, underlying these questions is somebody saying to me, hey, guy, what's the path? And my answer is, even if I knew the path, it's my path. You pick your path. And don't ask me, I don't know, for you. And actually, I would tell you that when I have people doing kind of research, they kind of will ask me that, those kinds of questions, and I give them the same answer. I say, I don't want to tell you what to look at. I don't want to tell you what the right way to look at this industry is or which companies to look at even because I want to find out what you think. I don't want to find out what I told you to think and whether you agree with it or not or whether you I want you to start from scratch, you know. So yeah. This one's hey, changing. Hey, look, I'll tell you look, I I'll give you why do I like you, Tom? I'll tell you one of the reasons why I like you. Yeah, I'm asking you I'm asking a question and answering it. You're on your own path. You're leading. You are a leader. You don't know where you're going, but you know it's your path. You, I don't know exactly where it came from that you decided to do this podcast. I don't know where it came from that you decided to come to the Berkshire meeting. But you are on a path that it's clear to me that nobody is telling you what to do. You didn't wake up one day and say, I want to be do a pod, you know, I'm going to ask XYZ person how to do a podcast, how to run a YouTube channel, how to be. No, you're following your curiosity. It's so obvious. That's actually part of what makes it fun to talk to you because you're alive. You're making decisions. You don't know what you'll be doing tomorrow in three weeks or two years from now, but you're, you're exploring your forest in a certain way. And it's a beautiful thing when you get it because you're kind of there doing it. And so uh, that's my answer. And it, here's a mistake that I have made. A pro, it, it's not um, fatal, thankfully, but it's kind of like a serious mistake in life is that I've made decisions as if I'm, because I was so in love with Warren Buffett, I've been making all these decisions in my portfolio that is that it doesn't come from exactly where I stand. It's maybe what somebody with Warren Buffett's resources would do if he was managing my portfolio, perhaps. But what... What is actually right for me, there are many small cap companies that I haven't looked at because I've been too busy aping Warren Buffett. But I have to actually look. It's my path. It's not Warren Buffett's path. It's not Lou Simpson's path. My path, you know? And to the extent that I found that, I've been better and more successful. And you're clearly on your own path. And so my exhortation to those two questions is try and find a way to be on your path. And the way you get on that path is... I can't, you know, is look inside yourself, you know, in the, in the words of that famous book by the Google engineer, search inside yourself, the answers are on the inside. Um, nobody knows which is the right step for you to take. Nobody knows which is the right textbook to pick up anymore. Nobody knows which is the right company to study. And, and you don't know yourself, but, you, but every now and then you'll get clues. You know, Tom has to decide who he's going to interview. And, he, and I know that Tom doesn't just do it based on how many views they get. He looks inside himself. You, you decide, what do my instincts tell me is the right way to go forward? It's a beautiful thing, actually. I just realized it right now. Back to you with a question. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just quickly say it's, it's more fun to just do your own thing and talk to interesting people rather than just try to get the, the most clicks. But um, it's a Yes, so here's, a, here's <laughs> what is really fascinating, Tom, 
that uh, again, I'm not. Um, I, I I'm a layperson in all of these things, but I know that there's a more than a kernel of truth in it. Is that um, your path? So curiosity is not just some weird thing that's out there. It's a ver- there's there's processes going on in our minds that are leading us somewhere, somewhere good, somewhere that uh, somehow deep inside ourselves or somewhere wherever the hell it is. So so um, follow your curiosity because your curiosity will lead you to a good place. Follow your instincts. Don't assume that anything is extraneous uh, and and not something to be ignored. You know. That also goes for the negative sense, and I, I feel compelled to share this. I, I hope it's relevant in some weird way. So, so, so it, you know, you sit in a room. I'm in a room. Somebody piques my curiosity, and a friend tells me, oh, that person's boring and not interesting. Don't listen to the friend. Listen to the curiosity. Don't assume that the reason why that person caught your interest will be obvious to you right away. Follow that lead and see where it leads until you know that it's not the right path for you and then stop. That also goes in the negative, the famous, or for me, this kind of impacted me so much to hear the story. So you're a woman, you've worked late at night, and you're leaving your office, say, 9 o'clock, and you're on the 10th floor of a 20-story building, and you walk to the elevator. Uh, you know, All that there is is there is a security guard downstairs, and you don't know if he's there anymore floors are deserted and the elevator door opens and there's a male figure standing in the elevator and you get this feeling of, um, I don't know if that's safe. And then immediately, because let's say you're a woman living in a developed country, you say, this is ridiculous. I'm a female. I should feel safe leaving the office at nine o'clock at night. Uh, I should not be worried about this shadowy male figure in the elevator. I'm going to step in the elevator. And self-defense says, you don't step into the elevator. Even though 999 times out of 1,000, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that man in the elevator. He, has, he bears no ill will to you, all those things. But you don't go into the elevator because one time out of 999, it could actually lead to an unpleasant circumstance, and all you have to do is step away, go to the bathroom, let the elevator pass, and step into a different elevator where there's no shadowy man standing inside. That's listening to your instincts. That's an act of self-defense in that case. And I, lo- I, I was watching some self-defense course. That is an act of self-defense, listening to the instincts, not ignoring that feeling of, I'm not sure this is right for me, and overriding that feeling of, well, I should be allowed to do that, uh, and just go with the self-defense and the instinct. On the positive side, don't let a friend or somebody who's well-meaning override those instinctual short thoughts about where you should be, because that will lead you to the promised land And that's what's led you to kind of your promised land because you're living the dream in a certain way, Tom. You're having a blast. I can see it. You're having so much fun, you know? Yeah. So, so, and it's special when you connect up to people like that. So, you know, it's it's strange. You ask these questions, you don't know where the hell it's going to (laughs) go. 